Watch this, beloved. Get this teaching. Is Peter scheduled to be tried and executed the very next morning? Here's the context. We are in Passover, unleavened bread. And Herod, trying to please the Jews, locks Peter up after he kills James. But he don't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it during the Passover. So he locks Peter up and he holds him in prison. And it was about seven days through the Passover. But here in this particular text, it's the night before he's about to be executed. And what is Peter doing? Here he is, chained between two soldiers all day and all night he got double watched from him escaping but but what is peter peter doing he he isn't there praying for deliverance he isn't writing his last will and testament um, he isn't crying and screaming and begging for mercy the night before he is to die. Peter is sleeping. Oh, God, I wish I had somebody that would get this here. He's not tripping and, and calling folk on the phone, bail me out. He's ready to die the next morning, but yet Peter is sleeping like a baby. Oh, God's power is seen in his peace. See, I don't know about you, but if I thought I was going to die tomorrow, I'd be calling on the Lord and I'd be having the gods pray for me. You're going to have to lose me. I'd be losing my mind. But Peter is sleeping. God Almighty. Sleeping in his prison cell like a little baby. Chain to two gods in bondage, preparing to be killed for preaching Jesus. Oh, the Bible says he slept through the angel coming in and the light shining around him. Man, he had to be sleeping. Um, and you got to watch because God could come any kind of way he want to come in. This time he came silent because nobody woke up. But when Paul and Silas was in jail, he came with a loud noise. The Bible said that it was so noisy it sounded like an earthquake that shook the, I ain't got no preacher, that shook the foundation of the jail. So you can't, you can't max, you can't minimize how God going to come in. Amen. Come on, talk to me, somebody. You can't corn God and box God how God ought to show up. And I'm coming to church and I'm looking for it this way. You don't know how God going to move when he moves. I wish I had somebody would help me right there. Have you ever been there? Sometimes God can talk to you in a still, small voice. But sometimes he got to say, hey, wake up. The Bible says, Proverbs, then there's a man standing in the middle of the street and saying, no, go left, no, go right, go straight. But God sometimes can use what he wants to use. But this particular pericope, he came in quietly and the light shining around him. The text says that it was so quiet and Paul was sleeping so good. Man, I could preach right there all day. You ought to tell your neighbor, you ought to stop worrying and go to sleep. Yeah, some of y'all can't sleep at night worrying about how you're going to pay your little bills. I ain't got no help here. You're, you can't sleep at night because right now you're living a little bit above your means. Listen, you got to have some faith. If you can do it, you don't need God. 
I hope I'm helping somebody right there because you ready to throw in a towel. But I stopped by to tell about three of y'all. If you can get this word, you're going to shout. Don't give up five minutes before the miracle happened. Because that same night, he ain't come on the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, the sixth day, but the sixth night. God Almighty, the angel. Showed up. Look what happened to him, man. The Bible says he was sleeping so much that I need a, the angel has to hit him to wake him up. Y'all don't believe me, do you? I said, do y'all believe me? Let me prove it. Look at the screen. Y'all don't believe me. Y'all don't believe me. Suddenly, there was a bright light in the cell. And an angel of the Lord stood before Peter. The angel struck him on the side to awaken him and said, quick. Get up! And the chains fell off his wrist. You know what? Listen, even a dead Episcopalian church can shout over that. Hey, my God, the, he said, get up, and immediately the chains would broke off of him. I dare you right now say, Lord, take the chains off of me. 